So for this example, we'll continue uh, using area. And for this question, for, for letter A, it says, suppose a regular pentagon has a perimeter of 15 units. Its center is 2.0646 units from the midpoint of one of its sides. Determine the area of the regular pentagon. So keep in mind that a regular pentagon, right here, a regular pentagon, has equal sides, equal side lengths, and equal angle measures. So here is a pentagon that I have here. So since the perimeter, it says right here, is 15 units, and the perimeter is going to be all the way around. So since the perimeter is 15 units, then each one of these side lengths has got to be 3 units. So I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to mark this as 3. Now it states that its center is 2.0646 units from the midpoint of one of its sides. So it doesn't really matter which side. But if we took the midpoint, let's just put it here. If I took the midpoint, and if I took the same midpoint from here, and I took the same midpoint from here, then where all those midpoints would meet would have to be 2.0646 units, and that's where its center would be. It would probably be somewhere right around here. So this is what we're looking for. This is the 2.0646 units. Don't forget a unit of measure can be anything that you want. It can be centimeters, inches, miles. It's just some form of measure. So if this is 2.0646, then if we did something like this, and I went ahead and I connected to these vertices here, this forms a triangle inside the Pentagon. And if I did that from the center to each vertex here, you can see that it's going to have five similar triangles. So if I could find the area of this one triangle here, then all I would have to do is multiply it by five, and I'd have the area for the regular pentagon. So we'll do that. Now since this goes from the midpoint right to the center, this is the vertical height of this triangle that's formed. So I'm just going to mark this as 90 degrees. So this extension here is vertical to the side of the pentagon here. And of course it says that this height here I'm just going to write it in right here is 2.0646. So we'll find the area of this triangle. In the area of a triangle, that's equal to the base times its vertical height divided by 2. Or in other words, the base times the height divided by 2. Well, the base here is 3. Multiply to its height here, its vertical height, that's 2.0646. And of course, we then divide that by 2. So then the area of this triangle is 3969 square units. Make sure that you mark that with a square so that we know that this amount represents an area. So this triangle right here is 3.0969 square units. So then to determine what it is for the entire pentagon, there's five of these triangles that make up the inside of the pentagon. So we'll do five times 3.0969 and that equals 15.4845 square units. So the area of the pentagon determined the area of the regular pentagon. 15.4845 square units. Now for letter B, it says a five-pointed star consists of a regular pentagon 
with similar adjacent isosceles triangles attached to its edges. Suppose a star is constructed from the pentagon in A, that would be this pentagon here, in which the distance from the midpoint of one of the pentagon's sides to the opposite angle is 4.6165 units. Determine the area of the entire five-pointed star. So here is a five-pointed star. So keep in mind, here is the original pentagon that we did in A. I just have it a little smaller so I can fit the star in there. But here's the pentagon. And we said that the base of this pentagon, or at least the, the length of one of its sides, is 3. Because the perimeter is 15. Here are the isosceles. These are isosceles triangles, right here. What is an isosceles triangle? An isosceles triangle is where this, the two of the sides of the triangle are the same length. And of course, they're all similar, so we have five of the same isosceles triangles. So we're going to do the same idea that we did with the, with the pentagon, is if we could find the area of one of these triangles, all we have to do is multiply it by five, and we have the area for all five of them. So again, it says the distance from the midpoint of one of the pentagon's sides to the opposite angle is 4.6165 units. So if we come right here, since it's a midpoint and it's going right to the opposite angle here, then this is going to be its vertical height. So I'm going to mark this at 90 degrees. I'm going to put that in there like that. So again, we wind up using the area to determine the area for a triangle. So we have the base again. That's three units. We have a height here. I'm going to pen it in right here. The height is 4.6165. So we now have a height, a vertical height of 4.6165 divided by 2. And that comes out to be 6.9248. And again, don't forget square units. So that's the area of one of these triangles. Again, since there's five of them, we'll take this amount and multiply it by five. Nine, two, four, eight. And this is gonna come out to be 34.624 square units. Now it says determine the area of the entire five-pointed star. Well, we already determined the area of the pentagon. That's 15.4845 square units. We now have the area of all five of the, of the uh, points here of, this, of the star. That's 34.624. So all we have to do is add those two together. 15.4845. Add that to the 34.624 and that's going to come out to be 50.1085 and don't forget square units and there we go